Ew, you look like you could use a jacket. Welcome back to my cool, fully uncensored birthing videos. Let's see what your first dang question is. Do you sleep with or without socks? Being a YouTuber is essentially being a hero. We're expected to just spill our guts over every topic and every opinion we have. How would you like it if I went over to your house and I asked you, how do you sleep, socks on or off? Angel, more like Demon Gonzalez. Chick, hey Angel, I don't sleep with socks on. They make my feet hot. Sock, sock, shoe, shoe, or sock, shoe, sock, shoe. Did you just perform a spell on me? <laughs> oh, I get it. It's how, I, I assume you're asking how I dress myself? Did we finally enter the all socks episode of Jackass? About time. Who's the psychopath that puts on a sock and a shoe first and then a sock and a shoe on their other foot? That person probably like tore the wings off butterflies as a kid. <laughs> yeah, sock, sock, shoe, shoe, right? That's also the Konami code. What sets Sauvignon Blanc apart from other wines? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I'm drinking a bottle of Hourglass Sauvignon Blanc from 2019, the last good year <laughs> we'll ever have. <laughs> I find Sauvignon Blanc sweeter. My wife prefers Chardonnays, which is why I don't respect my wife. <laughs> we eat what we like, but they don't taste like apple. Anyone? Anyone? Ah. What's your favorite early 2000s guilty pleasure movie? Ah, gee whiz. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. What's your favorite early 2000s guilty pleasure movie? What about 13 going on 30? Was that early 2000s? It's not my favorite, though. Yeah, you like a lot of bad movies from that era. Like, dude, where's my car and shit? No, hold on. What's the. She quotes not, it all the time. It's not, not funny. Teen movie. That's a good one. Is that early 2000s? Yeah. Chris Evans's finest performance, and I'm, I don't think I'm even joking. No, he's amazing. He's wonderful. You mean Captain Flickin' America? Yes, yes. Don't confuse it with like disaster movie, date movie, epic movie. It's not that at all, and it's not that. American Psycho. People need to look at that movie like a comedy. I mean, Shrek fits this category. You could consider that a guilty pleasure. I really like the music for Moulin Rouge. I can't stand to watch the movie as a movie. We recently tried giving that a shot the other day and it's just a dizzying cringe fest, the opening five minutes. But the music in Moulin Rouge, Ewan McGregor's singing voice is transcendent. Ocean's Eleven, that's a guilty pleasure. These are not guilty pleasures. Guilty. I'm guilty for being quite pleasured by Ocean's These are Eleven. Not guilty pleasure. Nailed that question. Do you have any goddamn bananas? Oh, you're from Danky Can Country. A few years ago, we recently replayed Donkey Kong 64. It is the mother of all collectathons because every character has their own color coded bananas to collect. I believe it's just generally harder than Banjo-Kazooie and Mario 64 and other platformers of the same genre. And, and no, I, I, don't have, uh, I don't have bananas. We have zero bananas. I love bananas. I love artificially flavored banana things. Banana flavored candies, banana flavored drinks. I one time got very tipsy on 99 bananas. How, how the hell did that happen? Can you take 10 Yai tokens from the person before me, I would be glad to, because that question kind of sucked. Uncle Danky, surrender 10 Yai tokens from your crypto wallet, and please send them to Rapplications, because they asked very nicely, do you have any bananas? What, what do you do with that? Go play Donkey Kong uh, Tropical Freeze. That's a really good game. I like video games. Sock of Sand. If you had the chance to perform with one band, and all the members are alive, what band? Would it be? It's very hard to not say Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> Hear me out. Because when they perform live, they stretch all of their three and four and five minute songs to these 16 minute jams. And I think that would make it very easy for me to hop in and improvise. I could tickle the ivories a little bit. and Be like, I'll take this one, Dave. Yeah, it'd be really sick. It'd be sick. What a good answer. Another perfect answer. <laughs> Dylan. What's your newest favorite TikTok trend? Ooh. Hey, honey, what are some TikTok trends that we like? I don't know, I've caught myself on COVID talk. What are some of the memes that we always laugh at? Like, oh, oh, I, I like this, I like this one. A lot of the trends don't interest me right now. Like, people are doing that boom, 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 boom. Oh, I, I don't like that. I don't know. 
Do you sleep with socks on? No. I can tell you much more about the TikToks I hate. I wanna make an entire video how TikTok right now is in its Wild West stage and everyone is just freebooting. You mad, bro? I am mad. I'm, I'm mad at people who are just stealing other people's content and videos. Sometimes it's just a guy like pointing. He's like, and they play the video. But he has his face in, you know, so he gets all the clout, he gets all the credit, even though the video he's pointing to is not related to him at all. Can't really get away with that on YouTube, but on TikTok, mm, it's infuriating. It's infuriating. So my least favorite TikTok trend is the whole freebooting trend that everyone seems to love. And that's the weird thing. No one calls out the cre creators. They're not creators, but no one in the comment section ever calls them out. They just go, ha ha ha, this is so funny. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Like I'm the only one that like is angered by this. What is going on? I love TikTok. It's great. It's not problematic at all. Who, who doesn't love it? In the rare instance of an international Guinness shortage, what would be your backup beer for St. Patty's Day. I default to a cider such as Magner Cider or Bulmer Cider. I am a bit of a cider stan. Another dark, I think there's like a darker stout than Guinness. That's another Irish stout. I wanna say like Charlie. Okay, I have to Google it. I'm so sorry, I have to Google this. Murphy's, I was close. Charlie Murphy, same guy. And if you don't have Guinness, you can make yourself a baby Guinness shot, which requires no Guinness at all. Irish cream and then coffee liqueur. Some would argue it tastes better than a Guinness. I did it again. I ripped off half the, all right. I'm sucking up a storm today, viewers. Mm. Will the scripted yais and jackass come back or is the blind format here to stay? That's a very good question. I'm having a lot of fun bringing back older scripted yais I've done years ago into the new blind territory, like the walking away from explosions one, the blind roses are red one, but there is still much room for scripted material. Not so much scripted yais and scripted jackasks, but more like scripted sketches, skits, and shit posts. But when it comes to yais and jackasks, I think I'm staying blind. I can't tell you how hellish it was before the blind times. I was struggling like you wouldn't believe. I didn't like anything I was putting out. The blind format to me is a necessity. Just pop into the store, what do you want? You got any more Sauv Blanc? Did? I'll take some Dunkaroos. The comment section in my previous Jackass is full of people letting me know that Dunkaroos are allegedly back. So can you get me like a crate of those? Can we get some Hint Waters? I, I, apparently there's like a shortage of Hint Waters and maybe a pack of Trulies and some White Claws to wash down those Hint Waters. I'll Venmo you. Matt H. Bear, if you could pick a YouTuber to be the next host of Jeopardy, who would it be? Just to be selfish, I would love to be the host of Jeopardy, only so I could mispronounce all of the proper nouns. I really want a Dr. Steve rule it. I think any YouTuber that begs for likes and people to subscribe should be the host of Jeopardy, just so they can open and end every episode with a hella cringe, smash that like button, hit that bell. <laughs> I would start watching Jeopardy again. <laughs> but also I still nominate me just so I can mispronounce everything. Unintentionally, I just don't know how to say a lot of shit. This river is in the region of, of uh, oh my God, how do you say that? Are you okay with Danny Gonzalez naming his new dog Sunday? Oof, okay. I did hear about this. I guess I'm fine with it. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. It is, it is. But you know what else you hate though? He freebooted Sunday! Danny Gonzalez, my wife and I agree. You freebooted our dog Sunday. I have a solution. <laughs> Your Sunday versus my Sunday in the boxing ring. Only on Triller, we charge people 20 bucks for pay-per-view. We tape little boxing gloves. <laughs> we call it Sunday versus Sunday this Sunday. <laughs> Danny, you can take my dog's name, but let's at least make a profit from it. Danny Gonzalez, this is an official uh, call out. Sunday, if you could say anything to Danny Sunday right now, what would it be? What would you tell him? Hi, can we be friends? Sunday, no. What workouts do you attempt at the gym? Do you have any tips? 
The only working out I do is working out my demons. No, I've actually been going to Orange Theory classes. They turn it into a little video game. You can see on the screens how many calories you burn, your heart rate, and what zone you're in, and blah, blah, blah. And it helps. I gotta say it helps. It's a motivator. Because what I often do is I go back and forth between working out at home with like DVDs and stuff, and then going to a gym or going to classes. One unironic tip, what you eat is a lot more important than uh, how you exercise. Because you can work out till you're blue in the face, but if your diet sucks, you're never gonna see results. Can we get more uh, sock questions, please? Do you have a collection of something? Like some people collect coins, you know? I do know what you're talking about. I know what, I know what collections are. You don't have to explain that to me. I collect shot glasses. I was about to say we have an ever-growing shot glass collection, but we haven't really been able to add to it on account of, you know, the whole COVID Delta Lambda, the worst frat. <laughs> oh, let me find my favorite shot glass. Oh my God, we were just talking about Guinness. That's so weird. This is the perfect shot glass to have a baby Guinness shot in. This is not my favorite shot glass, but it's certainly in my top 10. <laughs> Hey Jack, do you know about the Dave Matthews Band Chicago River incident? Before I Google it, to refresh myself, I believe years ago, the Dave Matthews Band tour bus emptied their shitter onto people, if I'm not mistaken, right? Like purely accidentally. Let's uh, let's check this. Dave Matthews Band Chicago River. Ah oh, yes, they dumped 800 pounds of human waste from the bus's septic tank onto a passenger sightseeing boat. Roughly two thirds of the 120 passengers aboard the tour boat were, and I quote, soaked. Don't worry, all the passengers were issued refunds, so that's good. Look, who hasn't dumped human waste on 120 people, okay? This does nothing to sully my love for Dave Matthews and his wonderful band. <laughs> Is this what like QAnon people are like? You try to convince them of something and they're like, doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it is time for the final question. Our, oh no! Hey honey. Justin asks, are we in a simulation? <gasps> None of this is real, it's all in a simulation. It's the only thing that gets me to like, get out of a panic attack. Dumb question, do you actually believe that or is that just like a j truly a coping mechanism to help you get through whatever stress you're, you're dealing with? I think it's a possibility. It's a possibility, okay. I don't, I'm gonna say a hard no. I don't think we're in a simulation. I think stuff feels too real to be simulated. But that's the point, sure. And you could argue, you know? Uh, the answer, Justin, is yes and no. It's complicated. Try it. Next time you're stressed out, just tell yourself over and over again, we're in a simulation. This is all simulation. This isn't real. Who knows? I haven't personally tried, but my wife has to much success. Yeah. Temporarily helping. Tempor hey, that temporary success is still success. So ask me your questions and I will ignore them. Cause I'm a jackass. A big fat freaking jackass. Boy, your questions really drove me bananas this week. If you want to get on the board, leave your questions in the comments below or tweet them to me with the hashtag Jackask. New episode of Jackask every Wednesday. Click here to see the previous episode. Ah, uh, here's a clip. If you could say one thing telepathically that everyone in the world would hear in their heads and understand, what would it be? It would be this. Please get vaccinated and also subscribe to Jack's film so he can just quit his job and spend all day playing Mario Maker 2.